On behalf of the Puccini Poland Group and BPGS Construction, it's my great privilege to welcome you to this momentous event for Wilmington as we continue the westerly movement of the redevelopment of the Central Business District. As we recapture this once iconic structure, the former Midtown parking garage, and bring it to new life with 500 subsurface parking spaces and 200 apartments to attract at least 250 to 300 new residents to our city. We continually hear the challenges that face our city, but today we celebrate the progress that continues. And we're pleased to share it with so many of you, our partners both inside and outside government, who've made today a reality. This investment on behalf of the Puccini Bowling Group and our partners is significant. It's significant in many ways. It restores parking to the Central Business District and brings new residents, new vitality to our city and continues the drive west of the redevelopment. We couldn't have done it without so many of you here. Chief among them is our state's chief executive. Jack Markell has been a constant supporter of the city of Wilmington. He's certainly been a constant supporter of the Puccini Poland Group and all of our endeavors. And this is no different. Through the Downtown Development District and other means, he has supported this project. And with all the things that we think we have going on in our company, this is the project that he asked the most about. So, Governor, today is a reality, and it's a reality largely because of your support. Please come forward and be recognized. Thank you, Mike. Now I have other projects to ask about. Uh, but it is true, uh, I, I think I asked Rob like once a week for the last nine months, when you're breaking ground. This is just, I mean, this is just a phenomenal project. This is transformational. And we are so grateful to the BPG team for their continued investment uh, in Wilmington. You know, that was really the idea behind the downtown development districts when we started them a few years ago, is that a relatively small amount of public money would bring in a lot of private money. And it's certainly what's happening in this project with 200 additional residential units opening up, the retail space, the parking space, uh, it's really very exciting. And, and it's reflective of what's going on around the state. So far about $10 million of uh, public money has brought in about $120 million of, uh, of private money between Wilmington, Dover, and Seaford, and we're going to see more cities uh, added. So I'll be real brief because it's hot. I just came off spending like four entire days at Firefly, uh, which was an amazing event. But uh, thank you to everybody who's making this possible. This is just incredibly important, I think, for Wilmington. And what a, what a positive signal this sends uh, to Wilmington to think about all these additional folks moving in, enjoying them, working here, enjoying themselves, and to, uh, to Chris, Rob, Mike, uh, and the entire BPG team. Uh, awesome job, thank you. It's all of the, uh, the, the, the lenders, the contractors, everybody else who's making this possible. Thank you, but don't rest because they have a bunch of other projects we want to get past the finish line as well. So thank you all very much. Mayor, I promise I'll get you up here in a second, but uh, not without acknowledging all the departments uh, within city government who have helped make this a reality. I think probably it's a year and a half ago that we started talking with Public Works about relocating bus stops, about water, sewer, relocating red lights, how we're gonna expand curb cuts, provide vents in the sidewalks uh, for providing ventilation for the parking garage. Uh, then it moved on from there, obviously to get through the permitting and approval process, as well as the extraordinary financial support from the Office of Economic Development, as well as real estate and housing. The City of Wilmington has been a genuine partner with all that we've done throughout the City of Wilmington. We're very grateful. We would not be here without the support of all the departments and the City's Mayor. Please welcome Mayor Williams. Good morning, everyone, and happy belated Father's Day to everyone here. Hope you had a great one. 
uh, the Chief Bowling Group, uh, I take my hat off to them. They've uh, made major investments in our city when economic times have been very uh, fearful. But they rolled their sleeves up and they decided to dig in to help us rebuild our city. And that's exactly what they're doing. This project will give us 360 construction jobs, a half a million dollars in new revenue a year, and I like that. And also, when you see cities building, that means the city's alive. When you ride through cities, you see no construction, no expansion of businesses, that means the city's dead. Wilmington is alive and well, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll tell you that with partners like the Cheney Polling Group, we can't go wrong. Thank you so much. Everybody have a great day. Thank you, Mayor. We've also had another significant partner in the city of Wilmington, and that's our council person, Hanifa Shabazz. Hanifa has uh, worked with us on tire virtually uh, 70% of our portfolio uh, is within Hanifa's district. And she's been a tireless champion, not only for our projects, but throughout our projects for participation from people within the community, within the neighborhood that she represents. She's a great friend, a great supporter, and I'm pleased to introduce her now. Please welcome council person, Hanifa Shabazz. Good morning, everyone. In about 2007, 2008, we convened a very extensive uh, parking summit because we knew that downtown Wilmington was expanding. We brought, all, we brought all the stakeholders, businesses, and representatives of the residential area and experts in to study our parking in downtown Wilmington. What we found was we did not have enough spaces to accommodate the growing development that was happening downtown Wilmington, not just the businesses, but a growing population of residents and an increasing of students because of the higher institutions of learning that we have here. This project here is going to be the, the one that icing on the cake to address our parking uh, issues. Not completely, but it's going to make a major dent to make downtown Wilmington a place to be able to conveniently come, to be conveniently work, and to conveniently play. I'm so excited that we're here breaking ground today on this on this downtown parking project, and I know it's going to be one of the great things that's going to continue to make Wilmington moving forward. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anifa. To acknowledge all those involved in the project, especially our lenders and additional partners, uh, please welcome my partner, dear friend, Rob Pacino. I want to acknowledge uh, our good friend, Councilman Mike Brown and Stephanie Bolton from our state rep. Uh, and thank you for everything and all the support you all have given us over the last several years. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to thank our lenders. Obviously, without them, it does not have Karen Kalias at NCAL, Clint Walker at Barclays, Greystone Financial, HUD, and uh, the person who took a huge leap for us, uh, Ron Weingrad and the entire WISFIS team. Um, they really stepped up huge and we were able to partner with Stan Soja and the Wilmington Parking Authority and that obviously made the difference in getting not only parking for uh, the Market Street but also the downtown and as many of you know we are incredibly constrained by parking and it's become uh, uh, our biggest challenge in leasing so that's a great thing to have when you're in the uh, residential leasing business and you've rented so many apartments there's no no parking left so this will fill a dramatic need the 550 space parking garage. So I want to thank you all for stepping up the plate on that. We um, are incredibly grateful for Mayor Williams' help and his staff. He has so many great people on his team. Uh, we've been working with, you know, from Jeff Starkey to L and I, uh, and Jeff Lynn and Nayella. We really, really appreciate all the help uh, that you give us, and, and obviously Ray Rhodes. So thank you very, very much uh, to all you. And of course, my close friend uh, who calls me, or I probably speak to more than my wife, Lenny Sofran, so thank you very much. Okay. Uh, and then finally to the team at BPG, Rob Snowberger, who has worked on this for two years straight to get this over the finish line. Drago Vasco, who every day for a year and a half worked on the design uh, to get this done. And obviously, our architects and engineers, led by Bob Little at L2 Partridge, really appreciate all, all you all. 
And uh, to my family over there, thank you for everything. When Rob acknowledges his family, he always gets a little weepy. So I do want to acknowledge uh, Rob's partner, one of our leaders, Chris Puccini, who's here, as well as Rob's parents, Bernadette and Bob Puccini, who are here. Bern and Bob are just here to see who gets the sheet metal. So uh, we just... Uh, now for our photo op, uh, if we can gather around, we get our lenders forward, our designers forward, as well as our speakers to gather around our sandbox. Uh, so we're going to break some ground today. Everybody can gather around the box. And on one, we're going to throw some dirt. Three, two, one. Thank you everyone for any members of the press. Everyone here is available for an interview. We appreciate you all being here today. Thank you so much.